to Alamin City. They left their home to follow their dreams. Alamin City is filled with air, earth, and water people. Bernie and Cinder are among the first fire people to move there. Not long after they arrive, their daughter, Ember, is born. The family opens a shop. Bernie dreams of passing the shop on to Ember one day. This shop is dream of our family. Someday it'll all be yours. As Ember grows up, she wants to make her dad proud. But her temper often flares. Bernie tells Ember that she will be ready to run the shop when she can control her anger. One day, Bernie decides to put Ember in charge of a big sale at the shop. Ember is thrilled! But she gets upset when all the customers shout at her for help. Her anger begins to spark. Ember rushes down to the basement to let off steam. Her angry flames break a pipe and water gushes out. A city inspector named Wade washes in with the flood. Wade cries when he has to write tickets because of the leak. He feels bad that the city will likely shut down the shop. Ember follows Wade to City Hall. She tells him that closing the shop would ruin her father's dream. Wade is moved by Ember's story and offers to help her. He takes Ember to see Fern in the ticket office. Hey, Fern! How you doing? Living the dream. <laughs> You know those citations I just gave you from Firetown? I was about to send them to Mrs. Cumulus, then get sprayed for fungus rot. Wait! Wait! But their plan does not work. Fern sends the tickets to Wade's boss, an air person named Gail. Wade and Ember find Gail at an airball game. They learn that the leak in the shop is connected to a bigger leak in the city. Gail says if Ember and Wade can find the source of the leak and fix it, she will tear up the tickets and not close the shop. Ember and Wade find a broken gate at one of the canals, it is the source of the leak. They push sandbags against the gate, but the bags are not strong enough. At the beach, Ember and Wade fill more sandbags. Ember worries that her father's dream will be ruined. When her heat turns the sand into glass, she has an idea. Back at the canal, Ember creates a beautiful glass wall from the sand. The leak stops. She has saved Bernie's dream. Wade is amazed by Ember's talent. Wade invited Ember over for dinner to meet his family. After a glass pitcher breaks, Ember makes it prettier. Wade's mom thinks Ember has a talent for glass making. The family plays the crying game. Maybe we play the crying game? Let me guess. You try to cry? We try not to cry. They try to make each other cry with sweet and sad stories. Wade is inspired to tell Ember how much he cares about her. A tear falls from Ember's eye. Bernie announces that he is ready to retire and reveals a new shop sign for Ember. Ember is no longer sure she wants to run the shop. But the truth might hurt her father. Ember tells Wade that she is taking over her family's shop. She cannot see him anymore because fire and water do not mix, but Wade thinks they should try. He and Ember hold up their palms. They are able to touch. Ember does not know what to do. How can she follow her heart if it will upset her family? Bernie throws a big party for the opening of Ember's shop. 
Wade shows up and shocks everyone when he tells Ember that he loves her. But Ember will not change her mind. She cannot disappoint her father. She tells Wade she does not love him and orders him to go. Suddenly, the glass wall in the canal cracks. Water rushes towards the city. Ember tries to save the shop. She is surprised and grateful when Wade returns to help, but the water is too strong. They are pushed into the chimney. Ember and Wade are trapped, and the heat causes Wade to boil. Ember tells Wade she loves him. They touch as he turns into steam and disappears. Ember's parents find her. She is heartbroken about Wade, but she finally admits that the shop is not her dream, it is her father's dream. Bernie says his true dream is for Ember to be happy. Just then, Ember hears crying, and a drop of water plops into a bucket below. Was that Wade's tear? Ember remembers the crying game and tells more sad stories. When Ember says she wants to explore the world with Wade, the bucket is filled with tears. Wade returns. He and Ember kiss. Ember sets out on a new adventure. Thanks to Wade and her parents, she has learned to listen to her heart and follow her dreams. The End